Hi, this is John with Soft Cell Electrical School, and today we're going to rewire and install a brand new hot tub motor. And please remember, this is for informational purposes only, and if you are an electrician and are going to attempt this, take photographs. Don't rely on your memory, okay? Trust me on this one. Note the wiring. Green for ground. Red is high speed. White is your second leg of your 240. Black is your low speed. Let's take a look at the new pump. This has got two capacitors here. This one's got two capacitors separate here. So we have the common leg, the high, and the low. After checking the schematics, this is labeled 1, which is low. This is labeled 2, which is the common 120. This is labeled 4, which is your high. This is threaded in. All we have to do is put the cover plate on. As you can see, it's properly grounded. And that motor is ready to go. I would like to mention briefly why this motor failed. First, you can see that it's clearly locked up. And that could be the pump, which is unlikely, or more likely the motor. If you look here, this is called the pump head. This is the motor. And you can see all this aluminum oxide. So what happened is the seal on the pump head failed and it leaked water into the motor. So the first failure was on the pump head. Nobody noticed it leaking and from there it progressed to water inside the motor which caused the motor to seize up. We verified that this is the correct motor. It's wired properly and it's all sealed up. We'll see you next on the job site. The pump is in place and ready to install so let me show you something. I'm going to line the pump up as closely as possible so that the fittings line up exactly. You want to apply silicone lubricant. The seals are tightened, so now we simply plug it in, and there's only one way these go in properly. And you got to make sure this pops in because it's watertight. And now we're going to run it through a cycle. Flip the power on. Test the pump for high. Pump's working on high. So, the amount is not full, we're going to power it back down. That completes this tutorial, and please remember this is for informational purposes only. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.